In today's video, we're gonna be doing Christmas around the world. So if you're new here, I teach third grade science social studies and I teach in the beautiful state of Florida. Um, we have three classes, so we rotate three times. This is the ornament so far, this is how they look. This is the first class and I'm trying to zoom in real quick. I think they did really good. I think they did really good, but the class has taken a beating. Look how, like you can't really see it, but it's really messy, like really messy. Yeah, but anyways, um, that's what we're here for. It's supposed to be messy. They're third graders, they're eight and nine year olds. So we try to have some fun in here. It's always uptight. We have testing and all the things, all the madness of public schooling, but I try to have that glimpse, be that glimpse of light, you know. These little um, aprons came from my wish list. Someone got them my first year of teaching. So we appreciate those. We use them still. If you guys ever want to purchase anything off the wish list, or donate to the classroom it's always in the description and so today we're learning about christmas around the world and well we've been learning about christmas around the world and today is australia so all about australia i'm going to show you guys a glimpse of the lesson a glimpse of us making ornaments and just having some fun today all right so the kids are right now at specials they are going to be doing a musical tonight so they're practicing i actually need to go get them now because I gave them a little time, you know, cause she needed a little time yesterday. But I just wanted to hop on and give you guys an intro, show you and tell you guys what we're doing. And if you like these types of videos, give us a like, subscribe to our channel so you can see other videos. And if you like the video, it does help my channel out to reach other teachers um, or even other parents who might want to do this for their kids. And all right, so just make sure you help me out with that. And I will see you guys later. And now it's after special and I wanted to show the students how they can access the National Geographic for Kids and what they can do on that website. And luckily for the viewboard, it has all of these bookmarked inside of the viewboard. So it works out. I just went to history. I typed in Christmas because that's what we were learning about. And they can, well, I could highlight if I wanted to use this feature in the classroom. I can highlight, I can zoom in and out. And I also can give them little videos of the different things on each topic so that's really cool and i'm going to show you guys a snippet of what the national geographic for kids have and you can use it in your classroom as well donald blitzen originally called donald blitzen canada has a special post office for letters to santa its postal code is ho 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 whoa you can buy pickle gravy and bacon flavored candy canes snowflakes measuring four inches once fell across berlin germany said has to cover 150 million miles on his christmas eve journey Can I use? Yeah, we don't have time to color it though. We're gonna be doing that another day. Some people did a lot of work. It's supposed to be stars. stars. Can you wait? Can you have a seat? So one of my favorite things about the viewboard is the throw feature. I can throw or place all of my worksheets or any type of data to the board and I can work along with my kids. It's great for scaffolding, especially if you have um, lower functioning or even higher functioning students. You can use this as a great tool. Also, the pop quiz feature is great to access, give formative assessments on your students. I think I know what you're about to write. Sand. <laughs> Okay, got it. I'm gonna click on some people. Let's see what they said. Kangaroo, they eat shrimp. Shrimp, I guess. They build Sandman when it's hot. My favorite is the decoration in the shrimp. They build Sandman, Annika, the beach, and the Sandman. Okay. So now it's time for my students' favorite part of my lesson today, and that was the hands-on portion. We just went over the um, safety rules, and today we're making salt dough ornaments, and you, all you need is flour, salt, and water to make these ornaments. We will be painting them on a different day. We had to give them a chance to dry. So my recipe here, I got it off Google. You can Google it, but I will have it linked in the description. But for the classroom setting, um, you won't need to make so much. We had to make extras for our, the fourth grade class so we had two cups of um, flour um, half a cup of salt and then we had maybe about a cup of water give or take we added a little bit and I had to refill it and stuff like that but it worked out and we made extras for the fourth grade students and they don't have to mix it all up we've done it already and we'll give them all of our extra dough once we cut them out in with the cookie cutters <laughs> Mix, 
You may need to add more water to it. Okay, look, you gotta get you gotta get the water from over here. Mix the water in. So then I wanted to show you how it looks when you walk into the classroom if you were a student coming from the second or the third class. Um, my board is already set up, my I can statement, everything is already prepared and I'm just giving you a little overview of the next day which was Japan and um, the kids really loved it. I love the feature of the zoom in and zoom out with the view board. I thank ViewSonic for sending me this board. We love it, we use it every day. It is a great tool um, and you guys know I won't just try to sell you anything. This is something that we really proud ourselves for having and it really enhances our learning in the classroom and I'm learning more about it every time I get on it I learn a different feature or something I need to work on so until next time guys have a great day and I hope you guys subscribe to our channel